In this video, we will see an example on phasers. Question: Find the sinusoids represented by these phasers. So here, first question is I is equal to minus three plus J four ampere. So this phaser is given in rectangular form. So let's copy this. Now. We have to convert it into its equivalent sinusoid. So this will be the solution for this will be I of t is equal to. Now before this, before converting this into time domain format, first we need to convert this into its equivalent polar form. So this is the rectangular form. rectangular form so convert it into polar form convert it into its equivalent polar form so this will be i is equal to under root of x square that is minus 3 square plus 4 square at an angle Ten inverse of y by x. So the value of y is four divided by minus three. Here we can see the real part is negative. So what we have to do here? We have to add one eighty degree to it because here the real part is negative. That time we add one eighty degree. So now if we simplify this, so it will be under root of minus three square then plus Four square. It is five at an angle ten inverse of four by minus three. Now here we have to add one eighty degree to it. So plus one eighty degree. It is one twenty six point eight six. One twenty six point eight six degree and ampere. This is the value of current I in phasers. in polar form so this is the polar form of phasor we have to convert it into its equivalent time domain format so i of t is equal to this will be phi u cos omega t plus 126.86 degree and since it is current so its unit will be ampere now next is this this phasor is given in exponential form so let's copy this first and now here we can see v is equal to this j multiplied with 8 e to the power minus j 20 degree so first we know that j is equal to One at an angle, ninety degree. So this is different. And here this eight e to the power minus j minus j twenty. This is different. So it will be it will be like this. V is equal to if we convert this exponential form. It is the exponential form. We can write exponential form. we will convert this into its equivalent polar form so in place of j we can substitute one at an angle 90 degree multiplied with now this will be 8 at an angle minus 20 degree minus 20 degree so let's simplify this so it will be 1 into 8 8 and this will be at an angle 90 degree plus Minus twenty degree. So this will be eight at an angle seventy degree. This is the voltage, so its unit will be volts. Now we will convert this into time domain format, or in we have to convert it into its equivalent sinusoids. So it will be V of t is equal to eight. cos omega t 
plus 70 degree. So this is how we can convert phasor domain into its equivalent sinusoids. Don't forget to share to this video and thanks for watching.